So y'all think all these people came into Africa and were like, man, hey, man, how y'all system work over here? Hell nah, nigga, they came in bomb rushing. Bomb rushing, man. They came in straight bomb rushing. Who they couldn't spiritually indoctrinate, they either killed them or went to war with them. Most of the time they got whooped. 99.9% .9 of the time they got whooped. Them little couple times they won, one time against the Zulus, one time against the Egyptians, six times against the Egyptians or whatnot. So they little seven times they done won. You see what I'm saying? They almost don't even count outside the time. Y'all, we uh, 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 93 and 7, man. <laughs> we got a record of 93 and 7. When it come to, you know, who ruling empires or whatnot. You see what I'm saying? Y'all go get the book, Ruiners of Empires, man. You see what I'm saying? So tonight we talking about destruction of black civilization. Uh, another book, Dr. Chancellor Williams. You see what I'm saying? So, and I want to go on back into the, you know, invaders or whatnot. The time who's and shit. The moon zungus or whatnot. So, uh, and we're going to talk about the term Blakey Omento. And we'll do that first. Blakey Omento is the whitening of a culture. So you invade another culture, tan up shit, and you kill off the men and, you know, rape the women. You see what I'm saying? Didn't want to bring it, but that's what it is. Rape the women. And then you see what I'm saying? Oh, you know. And that's what war is. See, when when you when you at war with uh, nations go to war, it's physical, but it's also spiritual or religion. You see what I'm saying? Because religion ain't spiritual or whatnot. It's just a little box, a little pack or whatnot to get their little information off or whatnot. So religion is and war is the same thing. Is my God, when we go to war, it's my God against your God. So if I beat you, my God must be more powerful than your God because you lost. I mean, you lost. You took the L. So when that happens, the culture that loses adopts the culture of the women. And see, this is what happens. You see what I'm saying now? These little arrows with Trump today. This is why they going back to battle. See, it's more than just some oil and all that. This is a religious war. You, and it's, uh, they've been battling for a minute. So, you know, and we've been battling with them for a minute. Africans, black people on the planet. So, we're going to talk about this term, you know, Blakey Omento. But, you know, and, you know, destruction of black civilization in a sense that, you know, how these, you know, we was talking about in another video in that 7th century when they came in, when they bomb rushing and whatnot. Y'all think they coming in and be like, man, guy, what y'all be over here doing? Y'all trying to go to kill wins or whatnot. Man, they not going coming in like that. They coming in like, get down or lay down. You see what I'm saying? Get down or lay down. That's exactly what it was. So, uh, the great Dr. Chancellor Williams said, the mixed race Egyptians were the worst enemies of the Africans, and they vowed to enslave the whole race. The whole race, man. Facts. Facts. So, you know, and this is, see that? I, I'm hitting them too because there ain't no slave trade. This, that, and the third. You ain't got no evidence like this. So listen, and Dr. Chancellor Williams also says the ancient Africans created the term black is beautiful because this got something to do with it. You see what I'm saying? Because we talk about who we are. So, and they would make ancient statues to reveal, reveal their blackness. And they took very great pride in their blackness. So what I'm saying is, you got a people that's, you know, loving, 
they beautiful black skin and it's a part they black skin is a part of their culture like being black was like you know a part of the science you see what i'm saying it was a part of the science like even people that weren't dark skin but they were still african people or whatnot they would have paint certain statues dark skin to show how holy they was I mean, y'all done flipped it today. You see what I'm saying? All pearly white or whatever, snowy or whatnot. But, you know, a lot of times, like I said, when people invade a culture, they kill off the men, take the women. And that's where you get the Blakey Omento from, where they just blending with all these different cultures. You see what I'm saying? And, that, and the culture that we in that, be you know who the people the children that they have come the uh, come from that inception or whatnot look to the parent that's in power and most of the time those mixed race africans will look to the white parent or arab parent as the dominant that's facts that's facts but Dr. Chancellor Williams also says Africans in inner Africa today, not yesterday, not yesterday, but Africans from inner Africans 4,000 miles away from Egypt still claim the Nile Valley is their ancestral homeland. So Africans from all over Africa claim the Nile Valley is their ancestral homeland, especially the West Africans. You see what I'm saying? But in the Zulus, if you ask them, they come from the Nile Valley. So you can't, because they try to play us over here in America and say, you know, well, the East Africans ain't got nothing to do with the West Africans. I mean, that's a, a goofy story. You know what I'm saying? That's a goofy story. You see what I'm saying? When all of the African cultures, Fulani's and all that, all had their inception in the Nile Valley. The Twa, the Khoisan, all them people used to live in the Nile Valley. They took the African people as a whole, man. They, you ain't gonna just be able to do all that in just a couple of years or something like how they say. You see what I'm saying? That's why I say you got to watch them dates. But they they ain't come in saying, man, what y'all be worshiping over here, mate? You see what I'm saying? I like y'all shit. They ain't come in like that. They came in, you know, originally, you know, walking through the burning sands thirsty. <laughs> thirsty. It did, it did some of them learned a couple things and they took it back to their people. And they people like, where you get that from? Oh, Dino, or oh, what the Africans is it? And then they went down there, seen all the children of the sun with all them diamonds on their neck, and they got jealous. And then they were like, they real touching this shit. <laughs> Ain't had a bath for eight months. And they like, she, they see all these jelly coconuts. They like, she, we really got that. And then they done ran up and the brothers were slipping up there shining like some celebrities trying to be cute. And then got caught slipping. That's just what happened. That's just what happened. And the Nubians will always come up the river and say, man, we all doing our party with all these people for? Who these motherfuckers? Looking all funny and shit. And then they say, get out. But then the Egyptians will come back and say, man, if you can live under African law, you can stay. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I always get some of them Egyptians. I'm coming back with one more video. Chop out.